Hey everybody. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to do our You Choose Shape project. So you have two options for this project and you will get to choose which one um, you want to do. So one is called a tessellation. This is a good example of a tessellation drawing. It's basically the, the same shape repeated over and over and over again. Um, and there's obviously there's instructions for how the shapes are supposed to line up so that there's no gaps between each shape. So this is a tessellation. And then your other option is a cubism drawing. And no, it does not have to be about Halloween. I'm just super excited about Halloween and wanted to get some of that out. Um, so first, you gotta decide um, which one you wanna do, right? So for, I would say the cubism one is probably easier, um, but the tessellation one is definitely more creative and more fun. I had so much fun doing this drawing. Um, and I used reference pictures. I didn't, um, you know, I didn't have an idea in mind when I cut out my shape. Um, and so basically this was my shape, right? And I used it to cover each little piece, each little section, and it all kind of fits together. And there's a video for how to do that. So. Um, for both of these projects, you are going to need some blank paper, obviously. Um, we're not going to do it small. This project doesn't work very well if you try to do it small. Um, your paper needs to be at least 8.5 by 11 inches, which is basically your standard um, sketchbook size or computer paper. Um, so you'll need a piece of paper that size. You're going to need a pencil and an eraser. As always, we want to start with pencil for both of these drawings. Make sure, you know, you don't mess up. And then you're going to outline it or you're going to do your contour drawing. And for that, you can use a Sharpie or a black pen. Um, you've got to make sure your lines are straight. So ruler, especially if you choose to do the cubism project. I use a ruler to get those straight lines. If you choose to do the tessellation project, then you're gonna have to measure on a separate piece of paper, you're gonna have to measure a three by three inch square and cut it out, okay? That's just, if that's the project you choose to do, that's what that video is gonna tell you to do. Okay, so what you need to do for this project, um, and if you do tessellation, You'll also need scissors and tape. But first, what you need to do is choose. You decide. What, um, which one are you going to do? Are you going to do the tessellation or are you going to do the cubism drawing? All right. So first, choose. Which one am I going to do? Second, there are videos on Canvas. Right underneath this video um, on Canvas, there is your tessellation option or a cubism option with a video that shows you how to do each project. Remember, you only need to do one. So if you choose tessellation, then you don't need to do cubism. You're good. If you choose cubism, then you don't need to do tessellation, okay? But watch the how-to video and it will show you how to do each project. I did both just as an example, but you do not have to do both. After you watch the video and it explains what you need, how to create your shape for your tessellation or how to start your cubism drawing, then you're going to draw, okay? So you did your first step, right? By the end of this video, you should know Am I going to do a tessellation or am I going to do cubism, okay? And it does not have to be about Halloween. It can be anything you want, anything that comes to mind. You should just have a cool drawing um, that you like by the end of this project, okay? So choose which one 
watch the how-to video and draw along with it, okay? And all the videos are on this Canvas page, all right? So just scroll down to see your two option videos, all right? As always, let me know if you have any questions.